August 213. I uh, found my way down here into this bottom. I was going to set up closer to the edge, but down in this bottom there's three points that come together. My wind's going to, it's actually the wind is turning, and by the end of the night, it should be blowing up towards the, uh, the field. And there's about 280 acres solid woods behind me and hopefully they'll be coming down off these points right to me well that's the that's the thought anyway you never know I mean you set up this way they come this way you plan for the wind coming this way they come in downwind it's crazy but it's so fun it's so exciting Put your skills to the test. But this is a good looking spot. I'll give you a pan around here in just a moment. But man, I'm, I'm hoping to fill some tags. I, I gotta put some meat in the freezer. I've been pretty picky up to this point. I've let a few really nice young deer walk that, uh, that I might have should have pulled the trigger on. I'm glad I didn't know or I wouldn't have had an opportunity at that big buck this morning. But <laughs> you always think what if, what if, what if. This is just a beautiful area. It is kind of thick. This is my first time hunting this um, this part of this public access. It's been several years since I've hunted it. It's the first time down here in this bottom. Um, if we can get some action, I would definitely like to, to come back. Maybe explore it a little bit more. still early. A doe blew at me when I was putting my tree stand up and she was kind of up, up towards the field. I could, I could only see her, her white tail. So that's happened to me three times in the last five days. Trying to get in my stand and a deer be in the area, already in the area. are really starting to fall makes it hard to pick up on that sound both that buck and doe this morning snuck in on me there was a light frost on on the ground and it was wet and, and they both were being super sneaky they are so majestic and stealthy beautiful creatures and they were being stealthy, sneaking through that area, and they snuck in on me. I almost got a shot on that doe. A couple more seconds and I would have been going to full draw on her. It's fun, man. Bow hunting is a, it's a great sport. It is a sport, folks. People say, oh, it's not me. Man, I've been on some big hikes here lately. Packing in tree stands. <laughs> Strategizing. Beautiful being out in the outdoors this time of year. It's cool. <laughs> you know, southwest Missouri, it's hard to plan on what the weather's going to be like. It's warm right now. I didn't bring my jacket in, but by the end of the night, you know, my gloves are in my jacket. <laughs> I could be getting cold. I don't know. Don't know what's going to happen. But this area here, we have three points coming together in this bottom. And the deer scientist out there says that this should be a, a whitetail super highway. I'm not a deer scientist by any means, but I will take their word for it. 
and I've set up where I believe we should have some deer filtering down to us passing through this area. I think that they're hitting acorns pretty hard this time. I don't know if they're still working out in the fields or not. But I, I have seen them be, be feeding on acorns pretty hard. So for all you deer scientists out there, you let me know about that one. I'm just a good old boy from southwest Missouri. Just trying to get out of here and have fun. Enjoying God's creation. Alright, I'll give you a pan around and check this area out. Stay tuned.